how big a decision was it, given what you'd achieved with Norwich, um, to decide to come to Villa, but not just come to Villa, but have to resign in, in the process? I had three, three unbelievable years. And I, um, as I said before, absolutely, absolutely loved my time there. Really, really loved it. I had a great rapport with people and great, great times, and I had a special rapport with the, with the, with the football club, with the fans, with the players. Mr. Like anything, I, I will always be proud of what, what we'd done as a group in the three years I've been there, and um, it's a part of my life that will always stay with me. I'll never forget it because it was it was a terrific, a terrific time. So. Um, I've got nothing but praise for Norwich. Really have us a fantastic club. A lot of, lot of good people there. And um, the fan base, as I've always said, was, was pivotal to what, what had happened. And uh, as I said before, I was, I'm absolutely proud of what, what's, what's been achieved at, at Norwich. What about what you've got here, obviously, with the personnel that they've got at the moment, you know, they just flirted with relegation. So what, what's achievable with what you've got right now? I'm never, you're never quite sure. I, I have to get get into it and um, and see what's going to happen. And uh, but it's something I'm absolutely, as I said before, I'm, I'm honoured to be to be manager of the football club. I'll give it everything I've got to try and make it successful as I can. And as I said before, the the fan base is huge, absolutely huge. We'll need them, no doubt about it. We'll need them to to drive the club on. As I've always said, the, the football club needs needs the fans to drive it on and that's what we'll try and do and if we do that then we'll we'll be totally fine. Question for Paul. Um, why the other Paul sat next to you? And, and what's he got to work with? Is there money available? That's what uh, that's what fans want to know. Yeah absolutely. I mean we're gonna be, you know, sort of we've already had some conversations and you know, we know that we've got to work with with Paul. We've got to freshen up the squad. As you say we had a a poor, disappointing season last year, and I think that's what we've now got to get to work. It's still early in the summer, and try to you know, bring people in. I'm sure there'll be some players as well who'll be moving on, but it's about trying to get that squad ready to go for pre-season, ready to go obviously for the start of the year, and make sure that we're up challenging you know, the top half of the table this year rather than where we were last season. When they said, when you said there's money available though, is it, is it money for wages or is, is there money to go out and, and buy a, like a yeah, market that's signing? What we'll be getting out there, and obviously we're not going to sit here and uh, sort of give you guys a nice round number of what we're, we're going to be looking to spend, but we're going to be looking to get some smart moves, players in, freshen up the squad, help those guys out who are already here, and make sure Paul you know, has the tools that he needs for a successful season. What about your backroom stuff? Paul, will you be able to bring Ian Culver's, uh, Culver House in? No, I think. I think I've not even spoken about it. I think everybody's it's amazing what, what's uh, what's happening. So there's a lot of things I have to value. What's what's here, and um, I think that's for another another day. At the minute, I'm delighted to be to be here. Can't wait to get going. If the truth be told, so um, I'm I'm excited by it. It's a huge, huge club. It's something I'll need to I'll need to embrace more than anybody to the history it's got and the the tradition it's got, it's already won the European Cup, which is, speaks volume for itself, it's, it's won titles, it's got everything going for it, 